everybody. <laughs> uh, it says I'm live. So, uh, but I wasn't able to kind of, it's raining outside and so I wasn't sure how good the network connection was working. So can you tell me, well, uh, let's see. Let's not exchange this. I'll give it a couple minutes. Okay, now let people see if we're on. Does that look better? Okay. <laughs> so um, I'm talking a little bit quieter than normal because I because Lynette's resting a little bit, and but she's a great co-host. And so she, you know, when she, sometimes she makes comments. If you guys, um, there's a couple, there's eight people watching now. Hey, hi, Tommy. Hey, thanks for saying hi. So I know that part's working. Okay, can you guys tell me, is the quality as good as it was like yesterday, the day before? It is or is it real slow? Like I remember, I did the. I don't know if you saw this live feed I did from this high rise when Ari was trying on her dresses, but the internet was really slow, so the quality wasn't as good. Hey, Melbourne. Good morning, game. <laughs> hey, Dan. Hong Kong, Beijing. No issue. Okay, great. Because literally, it. I, I was trying for about a half hour, and I couldn't even like get any videos or anything to pop up. Yeah, let me tell, one of my plans is to tell you about the wedding rehearsal yesterday. Uh, Cause I had a question, are you ready for the wedding? Uh, wow. And um, hey, oh, a handsome, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and then, yeah, no, I won't be sexy today. Cause even if my shirt falls off my shoulder, um, I have a t-shirt on. So, hey, New York. Hey everybody, and this is actually, this is one of my funnest times when when you guys just start first logging in and saying hi and telling me where you're from. Hello, Laudofu, because, I don't know, it's just kind of like having, waking up and, and uh, having a little coffee and a little <laughs> with, uh, uh, chat with a friend. Yeah, my pose is like a sea lion, and I saw a sea lion. Did you guys see the sea lion? Did I dye my hair? No. <laughs> That's my own natural, beautiful hair. <laughs> dye my hair. I did get a, a trim, though, yesterday on the sides because the guy that cut my hair in the small village, I couldn't communicate with him very well. It wasn't his fault. I'm sure he would have done it. But we went to like this real fancy shop next to where the girls got their nails done. For the, I think they filmed it, so that'll take a few days probably to come out. Um, so I just went and got my side. I said, just kind of shave and, you know, fix it. So I think it looks better. So um, dyeing my hair, I like my hair color. And because um, it makes me look old, and you can get away with anything when you're old. <laughs> so... So I'm enjoying the old look. Uh, hey, Toronto. Um, are you guys visiting? Yeah, we're visiting China. Greetings from Malaysia. <laughs> We've been in China now. It's been, yeah, it's been two weeks. So we have another four weeks to go. We're so excited. Yes, we are for sure. Well, when I say for sure, we're 90% for sure visiting Beijing because that's one of the towns he said we're always visiting. And uh, um, and everything else, you know, is we, ne we never know um, because the plans change all the time. So that plan could change too. Yeah, it's worth going. I mean, we're planning on going. I know that. Um, it's just that nothing is 100% other than the wedding date, which now I think it's on the 21st. And so, so that's in three days. And I actually have my laptop with me now. Today's the 19th, so the wedding is in two days. <laughs> I like to see you, you guys too. Um, it just kind of reminds me of you know catching up with friends. Good morning, you're enjoying your motorbike. Yeah, did you guys see that video that Jay put up yesterday? Or, oh, anyway, it's, 
it was my first time on a scooter in China and literally um, it's been my dream, you know, to scooter around rural China because, you know, I, I think you guys know that my family were fans of uh, little Chinese everywhere and she scooters around in rural China. So that was kind of like, I, oh, I want to do what my, um, <laughs> what my YouTube hero does, my internet hero. And, and I love travel, so I've always, my whole life, you know, watched travel videos. I just, hers are my new favorites. And so that was my dream, and so I got to on Jay's video. And then today, um, actually, if you see this, I might even show you a preview. So this morning, I, you know, I usually get up around 5 or so, and then, um, but today I got up at like 2.30 or 3, so I, I've started editing the video of that same day, and I didn't do, I didn't, when Jay and I are filming like a lot of stuff, and I know you usually don't film, because I don't want to do, you know, it's gonna be kind of boring to have two videos of the same stuff. But I did film my, my scooter ride from my perspective. I'm holding the, the uh, I'm holding the camera on the scooter, so. So I talked to Jay and, and I said, are you, are you using that, you know, some of your footage? And he said, yeah, it's already released. I said, oh, I said, oh, okay. He said, yeah, dad, go ahead and release. Cause I was going to do a different one first. He said, no, go ahead and release, you know, your video of that same day, uh, the scooter day. And, you know, it can be kind of a follow up. And uh, I, I will keep filming. I mean, th actually, thank you guys for someone wrote, please keep filming. But I want to tell you guys, your feedback really encourages me to do it, you know. So the, your comments um, and, you know, the views, I, I think, are kind of growing. So that's encouraging. It's like, okay. No, I, I'll show you a little bit. I'm, actually, I have almost finished editing it, but I just now need to add, I want to add a song and do some final edits because until I have the whole thing done, I go through about two, I go through about three edits. I do kind of a rough edit like, okay, what are my good shots? And then I kind of do, okay, what's the story? And then I kind of edit, edit it so that it tells a story. And me, you know, every time I edit it, I'm cutting it down, cutting it down. It's getting shorter and shorter. Um, cause it probably started out at about 30 minutes and this one, it might be a little bit longer than the, the usual ones just cause I'm having, I just love the scooter scenes. And so I think I'll just throw a song. Yeah. I'm going to, I heard the song Harley. It's super cool. I'm going to put the song Harley on the scooter video because <laughs> it's, it's not actually a Harley, but a Harley is a motorcycle. And, uh, and obviously, I mean, uh, that song Harley is isn't even about a motorcycle per se. It's about the guys in America that uh, have Harleys. They love their Harleys. And a lot of their identity is, is you know, wrapped up into, you know, being a Harley rider. And it's a little bit of a status symbol, but they really love their Harleys. And then, so I was in a situation once where there was, there was a, you know, part of me that I really loved, that I really, that I trusted with someone else. And, and you know, I got screwed. Um, uh, and it was taken, taken from me. Uh, and I, you know, I gave it cause I trusted the person and they took it. And, uh, so then I, the, I thought, what, and I thought, you know, those heart, what if uh, someone trusted someone or liked someone so much that they gave up their most prized possession, which is their Harley. And then that person just took it. So that's what the song is about. I don't know why I'm, I don't like when artists explain their songs because, <laughs> but I just did because I, I re would rather have people listen to it and, and get their own interpretation. I try to, I, I usually know what I'm right. I usually write my songs about two things. Uh, can, can I sing any Fleetwood Mac? I've never sang any cover tunes. So if I know the tune, I could probably sing it, but I, I don't know any of the lyrics either. So. I could probably sing them, but I've ne I've only ever sang my own music. So, um, you know, I listen to songs on the radio, but I never really sang them. And uh, so I, I started actually, when I started playing guitar when I was about 11 or 12, I just would play constantly and I would just write my own songs. 
So I never really learned how to play other people's songs, except that now I've been in music so much my whole life. I know, I know how music works, so if I, if I know the, what a song is, if, don't stop thinking about tomorrow, don't stop. You know, that's a, that's a Fleetwood Mac song, I think. I think it is. But, uh, and so I, I could probably play it on guitar, and since I know the melody, I can sing it, but I've never, I've never been in a cover band and I've never played cover songs, except for here in China, they wanted me to play Country Road, so we did, and then they wanted me to play Hotel California, so I tried. <laughs> um, but when I write songs, I'm usually writing them about one or two things, and then I'm kind of combining them. But I try to write them in a way so that someone who heard the song would understand the emotion of it. And that's maybe why some of you guys like some of the songs. It's like, I love some Jay Chow songs and I, uh, and I didn't understand any of the lyrics, but I like the music and I like the feeling um, because I think music itself is kind of international and not language per se. You could go your own way. I could probably figure out how to play that. Someone who said, I uh, think, go your own way. But, um, uh, but I, I, the emotion of it, I think, carries out to all different languages. And so even in English, if you're an English speaker, and if you can understand the lyrics, they, I try to keep them a little bit artistic or artsy or poet. No, I try to keep them poetic um, because poetry... So you have the feeling, the emotion from the music and the vocals, and then from the lyrics, you kind of have the poetry. But I leave it open to interpretation so that you could, even though I might be writing about one or two specific things, there are enough, we, there's enough in common with everyone that your specific thing might not be the same as mine, but you can have your specific thing and then relate it to my song. And that's what I think is good art, is when it touches you on a personal level to you. You left comments on both YouTube and Billy Billy. Yeah, I'm able to read all the comments on uh, on YouTube, so thank you. And then I, it went by too fast, because it only stays up for one, two, three, four seconds maybe, so I can usually only read the first sentence or two. Uh, good lyrics unite people around the world. Well, I hope, I hope mine do, but anyway, so the song Harley, even though it's not about a Harley, it's called the Harley, and it's about a motor scooter. So at the end, I, so I normally try to cut it down, you know, it's as short as possible, but this one's going to be a little long, because I, I just liked everything. Um, and, uh, so, and at the end, I had kind of a longer shot of uh, riding a scooter, and it was just, I was loving it so much that I said, I'm just going to throw the song Harley on there and let it run for three minutes. It's <laughs> just me on the scooter. But it's kind of cool because I already have an ending. And basically the ending is, as the song fades, um, it's me riding <laughs> into the distance on the scooter. I think, you know, I'm an artist, so to me it's kind of poetic. I try to I try to tell a story with the videos, to be honest. And from, you know, I, there's a few different things I'm doing. I'm not going to explain what I'm, what I'm doing, but I, there's a lot of thought that goes be, behind the different things that you see. And and sometimes people go, oh, I think he's doing this. And I'm going, hmm. Okay, that's pretty cool that you picked up on that. And then some stuff is probably so deep, it's only for me to understand. But I try to tell a story, and I try to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And then... Uh, if you've ever seen like a superhero movie or like a Marvel movie or something, at the very end they'll always have a little something unexpected or a little scene from like the next movie or behind the scenes, something. So I'm going to actually probably do that on this one. And I noticed that Jay and Ari started doing that. But anyway, Jay and Ari's last video I thought was fantastic. The, the scooter video with, with uh, Jay's high school friend. He met him when he was like 10 years old. Um... So anyway, I think I'm going to have to sleep. But I see, um, and I did another, I did another video from a hotel room where she was making comments. And so she is a great co-host because she does really add great comments. 
but uh, <laughs> you're drifting on that scooter. Okay, wait till you, actually, I'll show you a little bit right now. Well, let me finish talking about Lynette. So, so she, I think she likes to kind of listen. So I think she goes, <laughs> I think she might be asleep so I can say this. Um, when is the Jade Ari wedding on, in two days on the 21st? Um, uh, I think she thinks that she's my producer because when I'm done, she goes, she tells me all the things I did wrong. <laughs> so she, I think she's trying to, you know, make me a better, you know, <laughs> person <laughs> in a better, we've been married for like, we were 20 when we got married, we were 62, so we've been married 42 years. It's like, really? You're still trying to... <laughs> okay, but anyway, um, I love her and I think that shows. And the, uh, my dad told me, and I, I did this for, for my, my children, because one of the things my dad said he said, the best things I could ever do for you children, I have a brother and sister, so they had three children. Actually, after about nine months of marriage, they had three children in a row. Um, uh, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure my mom got pregnant on her wedding night. But, um, or, yeah. And then, but my dad said, the best thing I could ever do for you, for you kids is to love your mother. And I'll say it one more time because I think it was very good advice that my dad, uh, just a true thing that my dad said to me. He said, the best thing I could ever do for you kids, it wasn't money, it wasn't, you know, educate, it wasn't anything. The best thing I could ever do for you kids is to, to love your mother. So anyway, there's enough of them. There's, <laughs> uh, no, I, someone asked if, if uh, Josh and Mamie are coming. And no, I wish they were. And Alice agrees with my statement. The best thing you could ever do for your children is to love your spouse. Um, <laughs> and once uh, I, I had a, a friend of mine once asked, um, how have you, because he was been married for like 50 years, then his wife passed away, but they'd been married for like 50 or 60 years. Uh, Leo Slingerland, a friend of mine who, who had a family TV in Kenya. And then he said, people always ask me, how do you guys stay together? Um, uh, how have you guys, you know, stayed together for 30, 40, 50 years? And he always says, I tell them, it's easy. Just do what it says in the Bible. The hard thing is doing it. <laughs> so, so it's like everyone knows how to do it if they want to know how to do it. Um, the hard thing is just doing the, doing the right thing, doing, doing what works. Commitment works. In a marriage, commitment is the main thing. Um, and the feelings come and go, you know. Uh, when we're both super, you know, happy and in love, then it's really easy. When one of us is like, you know, doing good and happy and all this, it, it, it's pretty good. When both of us are kind of miserable, it's, it's a little bit rocky. So, but the, you just, if you're committed to it, you just, you have, you, for, you learn to forgive and you stay and you just stick with it and you just go through the hard times. You just go through it and then. One of you will get a little bit better than that. It. it affects both of you, or in, sometimes you're both great, and then it's wonderful. Like at the beginning of a relationship, you're both super happy and excited. That doesn't stay that way all the time. <laughs> but I would say most of the time, um, so really it comes down to your individual attitude. Like I never blame Lynette. Like if I think our marriage is going hard or rocky, I don't blame her. I mean, she makes mistakes, but I probably make more. But it's really my attitude. If I'm saying, you know what? In fact, that's my prayer every morning. Is like, Lord, help me to love my wife today. And sometimes I forget, you know, <laughs> and, and I don't always do it. But that's my that's what my desire is to try to love her every day. But that's the best thing I thought that I could do for my children was to love their mother. Okay. <laughs>
So, I, okay, now I finished that. So, was there something else I was going to tell you first? Well, yeah, I'm going to get to the wedding. So that's like my, one of my theme things. But going back to how great Jane Ari's video, I mean, isn't he a great editor? And they kind of, they've always, I think they still kind of, because like I was saying, it takes me three edits usually, and then like a fourth, like fine tuning. So the first edit is just seeing what footage I have. Second edit is kind of figuring out, telling the story, the arrangement. Third edit then is kind of really honing in and cutting, you know, cutting out some extractions. The fourth edit is usually just, I listen to the whole thing and go, what bugs me? And this bugs me and that bugs me. So it'll take some time, but I think I've pretty much, I'll show you this part, okay? This is a preview. What software do I use? It's called M-O-V-A-V-I. So I just say Mavavi. I guess I have to never. I never have to say it out out loud. But it's M O V A V I. And now apparently it's like a it's like everything else. It's a rental, you know, a rent or payment. Like oh, it's a it's a subscription based platform. But I got into it because um, when I started editing videos about I think about four years ago. Um, on this software. So I bought this software four or five years ago. And then during COVID, I, I made probably a hundred videos and I've had them all up on YouTube for a little while. And then Jay said, when Jay started dating Ari, Jay said he watched all of my videos and he said he learned to be a vlogger and to make videos from watching my videos. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was really cool. And I, I took all those down because um, I realized that, uh, when they, cause then I helped them start their YouTube and when their YouTube channel started really growing, I said, okay, I, I'm going to take down all my videos and, uh, because it, I don't want them, you know, if someone is a fan of theirs and then wants to check out my videos, I don't want them to be bombarded, you know, with like 150 videos. Mm -hmm. So I, I said, so, because I knew if, if I gained more fans or new fans, because I haven't been a professional musician for, for over 30 years. Um, so I knew I was kind of starting over if I did anything <clears throat> and only, you know, there was maybe half or music videos and half were, um, <clears throat> me traveling around the world videos. And I, uh, and in, even videos that I took when the girls were young and stuff. So, I, you know, I might do some of that in the future. But um, so I took down all my videos and I, I left a few up so that you could see maybe a live video, maybe a, like Harley is actually a, that was a hundred, that was a hundred and ten thousand dollars that Warner Brothers paid to make that video. Um, so, well, they, of course, it comes out of my money. <laughs> they recoup it from my money. <laughs> but, uh, um, uh, and so I left that up, and then I left up a couple live videos, then I left up a couple, like, independent videos that I had made, you know, myself before I got a, a major record deal. And, oh, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Yes, you can hear who's sleeping. So I, I don't know what to do. I'm trapped. Um, the Billy, Billy, Billy account and the Billy account made public. It is made public. Um, so, I, yeah, I have a... Uh, the videos that are on there, they'll eventually be on YouTube. So, so like I said, they that the company that puts them on Billy... Well, there's some bootleg companies that just take my, my content off of YouTube and just put it up there without permission, but they, I don't think there's, they have really strong laws or I don't even know if they have any copyright laws in, in China. Um, <clears throat> so those videos that you could see on Billy Billy, you know, I don't know. I mean, random people, they just put, you know, they take music videos and I have, I think three channels. One is called Dan Huizinga, one is called Dan H band and one is called La Zangra. And so they all know, I'm a, you know, I might have to move because I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to move. Let's see. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll bring this laptop because I did say I was going to show it to you. And I like to keep 
my words if I remember. Oh, I guess I don't need the mouse. So, okay. I'm going out here. Can you still see me? Yes, you can. See, it's kind of rainy outside. Well, actually, it is rainy. It's not just kind of rainy. So, let me just... Uh, I gotta open the door, but I don't have any hands free. Ah, oh no, you have to see our whole messy bit hotel room. It's my fault, it's not Lynette. She does a great job. Okay. So, um, I got my computer. And, hey. <laughs> oh no. Okay, and I'll tell you another thing. People are weird about feet in China, like this and that. Oh, am I back on? It cut out there for a little bit. You are cut off, you disconnected. It says I'm live now, so tell me if you can see me now. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, yes, okay, cool. So it shut off for a little bit. So now I don't have my little setup. So I'm going to, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to use, and I don't know if you ever guys know how I set things up. This time I'm going to use this chair and I don't think I'll get in trouble. And then I'm going to put the chair. Uh, oh no, she's looking at me. This would just be for a little bit. It's okay. Just for a little bit. Okay. They said, okay. And then I hang the phone uh -oh, over the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Megan's here. <laughs> She's reading this morning, so I kind of interrupted her. I, I, won't in I, I do want to interview her again in about a week to kind of get an update. But I haven't told her that yet, but now I just did. And it's just because they're begging for it. So this isn't an official Megan interview. This is just my live stream. And Megan, <laughs> yeah, it, it's down so long. So we're just going to have her, the same way we had Lynette in the background, she's just going to be in the background reading. And she doesn't have to say anything, but she will next time. Look at this. Look, isn't that cool? What do you think of my setup? It's, it's very Jimmy Ray. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Jerry. So anyway, Jerry Ray. Jerry. Yeah, you said Jerry. Jimmy. It's not Jimmy. <laughs> You had it right that it was a J name, but it's not Jerry, it's I was Jimmy. The so anyway, um, just ignore Megan. Yeah, right, like that's possible. But anyway, she's gonna go back to reading and I'm gonna show you what I promised. I told you I was gonna show you a preview. And this is my, uh, this is Lao Dofu's first official, I guess, preview of a video, upcoming video. Okay. So, let's see if you can see this. Hey, that head is almost as big as mine. Actually, I look kind of the same. Okay, okay you see this? <laughs> Here's the first, wow. Oh, there, okay, that's better. This is my first preview. And, but, uh, I, think, I don't remember, I don't think this is the ending. And I hope I don't break it. <laughs> Okay, That's Jay's best friend. Here. I love this. Oh, the breeze feels great. This is so cool. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> and it has me driving around. Oh, my. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for her because I don't know really how she can read. Oh, you can. But I'm here. Okay, cool. I've read it before. Oh, she's right before. And also, because since I'm her Chinese dad while she's here in China, I'm her surrogate pretend father. It's easy to ignore your father. I've discovered that by, <laughs> by having four children. So <laughs> Megan is already not, <laughs> not phased by me because it's easy <laughs> to ignore your father. But anyway, um, uh, okay. I, okay, now 
I think I covered everything that I had planned to, and I think I kept my commitments and showed you everything I said I was going to. And now I'm going to answer your question that was actually the very first question. Do you hear the rooster? Isn't that so cool? Uh, and the door is open. We're not even outside. But now I went from the bedroom to the, uh, I guess this is kind of like the kitchen lounge area. I don't know. They have tables and they have breakfast over there. Oh yeah, it's like, it's the oldest laptop I think that's still working. Um, it should be in a museum. That always, because I always have to, I, I tried like a, for a half hour to get onto the internet. And I thought maybe it's because of the rain, because that happens to me in the United States. Sometimes when it rains, I can't connect to the internet. But Jay always goes, Dad, your computer is so old. <laughs> But I mean, it, to me it works. So, although I do notice it is kind of slow when I'm editing, it takes like, I'll load up the videos and it takes like about 10 minutes to just, they say optimizing, HD optimizing. So I know, and I probably should get a new one. It'll be faster, but yeah, it's an old, it's an old Dell. And and actually, and I think I told you guys on an earlier live stream that me and Lynette have to share it because her Chromebook doesn't work in China. But we didn't know that before we came. So uh, I should get a new computer, and I might. And I really, to be honest, if I'm shooting some more video, because this phone works fine for you know for live stream. But I really like that DJI, and I had just a little handheld, but I can't see the screen. Even with my glasses, the screen is so small, I can't see it. Plans for today, that's good. Uh, but anyway, so <laughs> it is an old Dell. So anyway, yesterday, now, so first I'll tell you what happened yesterday, because someone asked me, are you ready for the wedding? So, so we did leave at a hard nine yesterday. Remember I said I wasn't sure it might be 9.15. It was a hard night. We left at five tonight, so I was really, really proud of, of Jay. Yeah, I should get one here. Oh, I did take my Dell and wants to get it. The hard drive died and it broke, so I went in to get a new one and they put a digital one in there. And they said, you know, uh, the computers we have for sale here, these are fifth generation computers. I said, oh, okay, that's cool. What generation is mine? I said, I mean, technically it's a first generation. <laughs> so I have a first generation computer. <laughs> um, okay, so yesterday, and all this is being recorded, they recorded it, and I think, and there's a professional company out, your scooter, scooter riding looks real cool, thank you. And there's a professional coming out, a professional company coming out to film their wedding. And I'll tell you what, I've been to several wedding rehearsals or a few um, because when if you're in the wedding or you know the part of the wedding party, you go to the wedding rehearsal. They take maybe a half hour, you know. I mean, you know, actual practicing maybe 20 minutes, but they're always done in less than an hour, you know. And then you go out and, and eat or something. But this was a Broadway play. This is. Amazing. I mean, this is. I can see why they're filming because this is not like a modern wedding. Uh, they, they might. Ha this is a. Um, <laughs> no. Um, uh, this is. This is amazing. Uh, it's like a Broadway play. They it, the rehearsal was four hours, and our. I mean, it was dramatic. Megan is in it. She's so beautiful. She does those little stuff. I don't even know what she's doing. <laughs> but anyway, I was trying to see if I could get her attention, but she's pretty good at reading her butt. Don't, don't say nothing. So, um, but Megan had to like do acting stuff. She's holding like plates and I think she was juggling at one point. And uh, she's a pretty good juggler. She was doing, Pirouettes. She would throw the balls up in the air and then she'd spin around. I think it's called the pirouette. And then she'd catch the ball. And then she would 
take plates and she would have a stick and she would spin the plates on a stick while she was tiptoeing around in her ballerina Chinese dress. So it was the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing is gonna be. It's amazing. But anyway, I can see why they're filming it. Hey, New Jersey, that's my home state. Or that's where I was born, anyway. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, it's, so they're gonna live stream it now. I'm just assuming Jane and Ari are gonna put some of that footage on, on video on their channel. If not, I will definitely, I'll go and get some of the footage from, I don't know what platform it's on, but it's on a one of the Chinese platforms. I, might, I can't remember the names. Do you? Do you? <clears throat> I think that's what it's on, but I don't know for sure. So sorry, what platform, whatever platform it's on, if I'm not getting it right. Um, so if they don't use, because they've done like, like, we did that T live stream, they didn't put any of that footage on their channel. And then they did, they did a Urka shoe live stream, they didn't put any of that footage. So if they don't put any of the footage of the actual wedding on, um, on YouTube, then I'll, I will. I'll put it on my channel. And you guys know my channel is kind of like a little behind the scenes and kind of from my perspective. And it's a little bit more laid back. Like Jay is like broadcast quality, excellence, excellence in this, all of his cuts. Hey, Ross. Ross is carrying Shadofu. And uh, so, and, but mine is a little bit more like, I, I'm old. <laughs> so mine's a little bit more goofy. <laughs> And a little more laid back and a little bit more, I don't know, like I'm showing a video to my friend or something like that. Um, put it up a bit higher, please. I, I don't know if I can. I mean, if you saw, I don't have a camera. Is that your camera? That's, that's my phone. Yeah. Is that your phone? Mm -hmm. Can you take a picture of this setup and then I can just show it to him? Would you mind? Okay. And like I said, I, I, I'm not allowed to talk to her because this isn't her official segment. Because that way I can say, well, I didn't talk to you then, so you, might, you have to talk to me now. So I'm hoping in about five days I can, we can get an update from her. Because she's taking a picture of how I have it set up. So I can explain to them why I can't move it, change the setting. Yeah, you, yeah, you can do it like that. So I'm just going to hold it up to them and show it. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is... <laughs> Thank you, Megan. This is my hotel room. No, not this is my hotel lobby set up, and there's my phone on the top there. So I had a little so few thank you. So the people um, at the hotel are you're looking out like I said, oh, it's just for a couple minutes, please. Um <laughs> it's a boomer setup. What, did you know that when I, when I was young, I, I was not a boomer. Uh, they changed the years. So originally, boomers were, if you were born like before, uh, like in the 50s and, and younger. But, and I was born in the 60s. But eventually, they changed. They needed more boomers, I guess. So they changed. The, they added like five years or something. So now, I guess, technically, I am a, a boomer. But... Uh, I wasn't for the last, for the first 40 years. It was only been in the last 10 years that I became, they, they changed the rules. It's like they changed what a planet is. So for a while Uranus was a planet and then it wasn't and now it is again. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> okay, so going back to the wedding. So the wedding, it's going to be amazing. And I'm actually naughty, Dan. Um, I'm actually going to be... Fortunately, I only have one part in the ceremony. And it's to be a musician. I get to bang on these drums at the beginning of the ceremony. That starts the ceremony. So me and Jay's dad, uh, stepdad, will, will together will bang on these drums to kick off the, the actual ceremony. And then we get to go sit down and watch the ceremony. And... Okay, I will say this. You guys know that I'm not very emotional, but but when Jay, so nor, at all my daughter's weddings, you need, um, I just, I can't keep it together when they come down the, uh, the aisle, you know, 
I start, I start, I get something in my eye and then my eyes start to water up. Um, but this was the first time that I, when Jay was walking down the aisle, I started, I started crying a little bit. Because I know how much it means to him to be in his home country and to be having a Chinese wedding with, with his bride, with the, the woman he loves, and you know she's from another country, for him to be here and the journey that he has taken. I know how much it means to him. So yeah, I got some in my eye now, but yesterday I was, I was crying a little bit when I saw that. So I couldn't, so I left. I couldn't watch the rest, of, the rest of the ceremony. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm only in the beginning. So I actually wound up editing another video. So I edited the video yesterday during the rehearsal that um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna ask them to put this one up first because Jay wants, Jay said I should put this one up first because to kind of back off, I mean, he's getting tons of views on it. So he kind of wants to see if it will, you know, to be kind of like a follow up to that one. So I'm gonna to talk to the company and say, can you put this one out first before you put out the other one? Because the other one is like a really cool adventure with me and Shao Dofu. In the morning, we go out and explore. It's pretty cool. And that one's kind of a follow-up to the one we did where we went out at night and uh, walked around and explored. This one's like early in the morning, well, 7 a.m. in the morning. So I'm gonna ask if they could put this one up first, but I first have to finish it. <clears throat> but I think I can uh, finish it. Actually, I'm done with it. I just need to add music. So the hard part is, is gonna be uploading it because during the daytime, the internet is so much slower um, here than it is at night. So if I get, when I got up at 2.30, I was able to upload the last video in about an hour and a half. But if I start up during the daytime so far, I don't even know if I've ever been able to do it. So I'll finish this video, then I'll try to upload it. But I'll talk to the company and say, hey, can you try to put this one up first? But if not, the other one will come up first. It doesn't really matter. Because we're not, I do the daily live updates so you kind of know what's going on from day to day, and then the videos, I mean, they come up when they come up. You know, we're trying to do it. We're working with every free minute that we have, but we want to have fun with, with our family and, and Megan and Ross and uh, Jay's family and go out and do all the things we're supposed to do. It's just that in our free time, which then, then we do the editing. I don't know how Jay does it. I really, I don't know when he spent the time to edit that last video he just did. I mean, we shot that, I think, like a day or two ago. So that means we shot it, and, and I don't even know. He, I, I saw him all day yesterday. <laughs> he was at the wedding rehearsal, so I don't know when he edited it. Um, uh, he, he edits it late at night, and Ari does do some of the edit when he's watching Shao Do Fu. Um, and then how am I feeling about it? I feel great. I, I'm a little bit nervous that I might get tired because I think it's gonna be a really long day, but um, you know, we'll just power through. Um, and most of it, I just get to sit around, except for my, oh, and then there is a talent section. So that's just amazing. And then there, you haven't seen the video, they did record a video of um, Megan, when she went and kind of danced with these Chinese ballerinas, it's just amazing. So Jay invited that ballerina, about well, five or six or seven girls that were in a ballerina troupe and they play at festivals and stuff. They go to a ballerina uh, academy or school. And then he invited them to come at the wedding. So I think they might be dancing at the wedding. So there's gonna be a, a lot of people that we know there. And I guess as the parents, we're supposed to go around from table to table. So, and I'm gonna be wearing some robes or clothes from the Tang Dynasty and all of their clothes that everyone's wearing. I think even the bridesmaids are gonna be from the Tang Dynasty. So that's kind of cool. So I'll um, be seeing uh, Bing Bing and Evan is gonna be there. 
and the grandmas. I think you've met some of them on the video so far. And I think it's gonna be cool. Dr. Leo is gonna be there. I think for the talent section, I hope he brings his, I can't remember the name of the instrument, but it's the most beautiful instrument in the world that I have personally ever seen. I hope he brings that and then he can, I hope he does a song during the talent portion of the show. It's, I don't know what to expect. I was just blown away that it's going to be a big production. And I'm curious, I, th I think, I don't know this because I, you know, everyone's speaking Chinese all the time and I really don't want to interrupt them because then I slow down whatever they're doing. Um, no, it's a rental costume, so I won't be able to keep the costume. Jay is buying me a couple of Chinese clothes that I will be able to keep, but the actual a costume or the you know robes or whatever it's called that I wear for the wedding, those everyone what they're wearing is rental. Um, that's why we traveled two hours to the rental place because they didn't have anything available in this town in Nanjing. No, no, we're not in Nanjing. In Jay's hometown. And I, Ma Ashan or something like that was the name of the town that we went to. And that's where I shot that video in the evening with Little Shao Dofu. Yeah, the clothes are beautiful. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to talk about the wedding anywhere. Uh, don't eat anything before the ceremony because the food is pretty good. Standard, better than most. I believe that. I, he said the food is better than like at banquets and stuff and food in America at hotels, it's, it's just not very good. Because they have to cook it for, you know, 200 people. I think there's about, I counted 200 seats there and tables, so. Um, which food do you like? I mean, I really like everything. If I had to choose like what I would just eat on my own, um, it would be, I don't even know what they're called, but I, I like the kind of the fried, like the outside, it's like Jay's hometown specialty is like a fried, I think it's a wheat bread, type of wheat bread, and then inside fillings. It was the food that he said it was too difficult to make. Um, that was great. I think it's called Bao Bao or Baoza, I don't really know. But I mean, I like all the food, pretty much anything that's been put in front of me. And every meal, Ningua, Ningua has been, I've liked every dish. And so it's interesting because uh, I like spicy and, and Lynette doesn't, it has both here. It has both kind of spicy, a little bit of spicy, and then it also has non-spicy. So to me, it's almost a combination of Szechuan and uh, Cantonese the food, but um, we've liked everything. I mean, we still don't like to eat the feet and the heads. Okay, so two strikes, let's not do that. <clears throat> the special food in, in Ningua. Lynette, okay, Lynette's favorite animal is a giraffe, and yeah, she saw that giraffe. And, I, and she's seen them in person, but uh, she's never seen them in the wild. Well, I mean, she saw them at a zoo now. Well, at zoos, but I've seen them in Africa. And when you see two giraffes fighting out in the wild, a young, and I guess the young bucks, they'll fight. They literally, they, you know, they come up and then they, they swing their necks and to kind of against each other. And it's kind of to fight. And I don't know why they're fighting if it's just for fun. But here's the weird thing. It takes, once they get into their pose, it takes forever for their necks to come together. It's like in America, I'm using cha 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 cha. Well, their cha 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 is cha cha. <laughs> I'm trying to make my laugh right now, but she's doing that ignore your father thing. <laughs> cha. But anyway, that was really incredible. Okay, we're uh, get okay. We're getting close enough where I can sing a song. And since um, I'm gonna, since I'm gonna put Harley on the the next video or this video, I don't know what it might be. Like now, I'm doing the live stream, hopefully every day, and then I'm also doing edited videos. I assume you know one or two a week whenever I can. But so I'm gonna sing with song that's gonna be on this the scooter edited, and that's called Harley. 
And then uh, some other something else I want to tell you guys for for any musicians out there. For some reason, because I'm talking a, a little bit, I'm talking a little bit louder. Uh, I'm talking at a certain volume, and um, it's usually pe the volume that people talk is is based on the volume of their surroundings. So I'm probably talking a little bit louder today than I am when I'm outside because it's a little bit echoey here. Maybe I'm talking softer, I actually don't remember. Um, but when I sing, I'm singing at the, the same volume as what I'm speaking. So I'm actually not singing at full voice. So when you do concerts, like when I, when I did concerts um, full time, I was singing at full voice. But it's interesting to, for me to hear myself now how I adjust to the environment. And also I'm not singing into a mic. When you sing into a mic and you have monitors and speakers, it changes the way that you sing. So it's kind of fun for me to listen to myself sing because I adapt it as I'm singing based on how it sounds to me. And in the same way, if you, so like some, like Lynette, or someone told me yesterday, I think, I think Megan did, that when she speaks, when she hears her voice, met, uh, when she hears her voice recorded and then hears it back, she hates it. And then, that was, that was you, yeah. And, and that's because the, when she talks, she hears the resonance in her own head that we don't, that other people don't hear. And, and so I think her voice sounds great and normal and, and, and wonderful. But to her, it sounds different than the way it does to me. So when she hears her voice through a microphone and it sounds completely lit, different, she said she was horrified. <laughs> she said she hated it. Um, so in the same way, well, I am used to singing in a mic and I'm used to singing, uh, hearing myself in headphones, which, is, which sounds different than if it's just my natural voice. And then I'm also used to singing into a microphone and hearing it through monitors. And nowadays, monitors are our headphones, basically. So that would be similar. But back when I was uh, performing live, we still used uh, speakers as monitors, not in-ear monitors. So now I'm re-singing acoustically. So usually i'm about half voice but yesterday i noticed when i was singing from the bedroom because it's very dead i was singing out about a two-thirds voice so i'm going to sing harley now and i don't know because as soon as i hear myself how well, it sounds i'll immediately adjust so you probably won't even notice it'll be milliseconds that i'll adjust uh what are, do you uh, no i'm not asking her any questions you can <laughs> you can ask her when we have our official interview they just want they want to know what book you read, but don't tell them. No, don't tell them because they don't. They didn't earn it. They didn't spend the whole day <laughs> asking you questions. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> then this was way for, Anyway, okay, it's all good. So save your question about what book she's reading for the time that we're doing an official interview with her. She was just kind enough to to borrow me her couch while I finished this live stream, so that when I could say, "Oh, I'm running out of time singing Harley." When the road seems hard, that's too, is, that, <clears throat> is that good? When the road, is this your water? No. I don't know whose water this is, but I'm going to drink it because I probably shouldn't. <laughs> you think I should? I don't know who this is. I hope they don't have any diseases. Okay. When the road seems hard and the day seems mellow, and in the night, no rest will come. I could take it back and I could start it over. But I don't know where it's from. I remember what I've done and I can see it all. And I can feel the rain coming down. But I shouldn't have let her ride on my Harley. Now I'm never gonna see it again. You know I shouldn't let her ride on my Harley. Now I'm never gonna see it again. 
Hey, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I love you. Um, I will see you tomorrow. I don't think I'll be able to do a live stream on the day of the wedding, but we'll see. But anyway, love you. Thank you so much for joining. You have a great day. Bye-bye.